Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little, mine just says welcome, but you can make it say whatever you want to say, multicolored, but also have this kind of pop of an outline, and then I'm going to show you how to upload it into uh, your canvas as an image, so if you want to add it as a banner, or if you want to use it to make any buttons, whatever you want to use it for. So first we're going to go to insert, new slide, and I just do blank slide, so I can insert my text box. Now you're going to insert your text box, and I'm going to type welcome. And I think this works, this style works best if you use a font that is a cursive font. So we have our welcome here. Now, what you want to do is you're going to change the font like you would change the font any other way. But I already have my colors up over here with the recent colors. The way I got my recent colors is I went to the standard color wheel and I just went around the color wheel choosing colors that I thought fit best with my theme. But you can choose custom um, if you want to and pick your own colors that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to pick the colors I already have. So we're going to start with purple and then we're going to go and we're going to go to pink next. So I have my purple, pink, darker pink actually because then we're going to get a lighter pink. That gradual transition to new colors I really think is what helps make this look so pretty. And then I have some green, and then we're going to change to blue, and then I'm going to have a darker blue, and then I want to end on the same color I started with just because I think it looks best with this word, so I'm going to end with the purple. Alright, so I have my welcome. Now what I want to do is I want to format my welcome to get that kind of white shadow effect um, to make it really stand out and pop. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you're on shape format up here and then over on this side it should set, it should say format shape if you're using a PC. So you're going to format shape um, but make sure you go to text options. You don't want to change the actual shape. You want to change the text options. So go to text options and then you're going to go to this shadow option. We're going to start with the glow. You want your glow to be around your letter and then you want it to be white. So you're going to change it to white. And then I like to do a little smaller, so I'm going to do a three. And then I want my transparency to be zero because I want to be able to see that glow behind it. Okay. So now I'm going to go up here. And you can't really see it yet, but once we add our shadow, you'll be able to see. So you're going to go to your shadow. Now you're going to add your shadow. And you see how all of a sudden it popped out. So much better. So now what you're going to do is you're going to pick the color of your shadow. Um, I think the black is a little harsh, so I'm going to go with the gray, um, and I love how that looks. You can leave it like that, or you can play around with the sizing, so you can have your transparency. I like to keep it like this. Um, you can make your blur a little less, and then your distance a little less, whatever you think looks best for your word. So I think that looks beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to save it as a picture file or a PNG, so save as. You want to save it as a PNG. I'm going to change it to welcome to. Since I already have one welcome. And I'm going to save just this one because it's just this one slide. I don't want to save all of my slides. I want to save just this one. And then to put that into Canvas, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and delete this. I'm going to go and I'm going to upload new image. Choose file. I'm up here. I'm at the images tab and then I upload. And then I'm going to pick my welcome. And then I'm going to put welcome for the alternative text. And it uploaded. So there we have it. And if you need to change the sizing, you can change the sizing in your paint option um, on your computer as well.